This is Nielsen Dynasty. Please like, share, subscribe, be kind, helpful, and grateful. Be kind, helpful, and grateful, especially in the hard times. It, it, it'll make us a better nation. And buy some silver and some platinum. Uh, this is about uh, the Philippines and China. Uh, they've got the Philippines has a boat. Let me uh, go ahead and show you guys. Let me put my glasses on here. Show you a little bit of preview here. Somewhere in this area here, and I don't know exactly where, there is a reef. The Philippines has a boat on that reef and have people living on that reef. It's probably somewhere further out here, actually. China, as we all know, wants to claim all of this water as theirs so they can, you know, make lots of money and steal all the, and not follow any environmental laws, steal all the fish out of the waters and everything. But these people here in the Philippines actually have rights too. And they've got like somewhere out here is a reef and there is a boat on that reef and they are holding claim to this area out here because people are living on that reef. Now we go to the story so these people can tell you about it. I'm going to put that uh, image back on screen of this rusting hole. That's the boat that's on the reef that the Philippines have people living on to extend their claim closer to the false Japanese Chinese uh, islands being built uh, out of reefs that they're destroying. Of the Sierra Madre. And, it's and called you Sierra said, Madre. It's, it's incredible to me that there's even people living on this ship, you know, but the, obviously they have to do that to sort of occupy. But it's only got a few more years left. And so, like, what happens next? Does the Philippines build their own Great Wall of Sand and build a military base there? Or, like, what, what's next? Well, that that issue, uh, Matt, is being discussed uh, at the is of course very se sensitive, uh, being discussed at the very senior levels in in Manila right now. And um, uh, all I can tell you is, the Philippines is not going to let that Sierra Madre end their presence on Second Thomas Shoal. They'll they'll make some additional plan and what that plan is uh you know i don't that's above my pay grade at this point in time what they're exa exactly going to do i mean our foundation has offered some ideas but uh i think i think that um anybody that thinks believes that when the sierra madre splits apart and slides into the sea that's that's going to be the end of the philippines claim to second thomas shoal i think they're dreaming because that's not going to happen there will be a replacement, a rebuilding, uh, something else to uh, uh, further the claim of Philippine sovereignty on Second Thomas Shoal. And of course, this this really bothers the Chinese because they've got a major military base 23 miles away, and they would like to get this. You know, the last thing they want is is for Second Thomas Shoal to develop into a significant uh, military base for the Philippines. One thing that's ironic is that now that the CCP has made such a big deal of stopping these resupply ships, it's pushed the U.S. to have all these surveillance uh, uh, planes flying overhead, which are also probably picking up on a bunch of activity at Mischief Reef, the Chinese base, that the Chinese almost certainly don't want, right? Right. And, and you, know, you know, Matt, it's kind of like, it's kind of like this... Um, this uh, famous, I think it's a corollary to Murphy's Law, that, that says that when you find yourself in a hole, the first rule is 